This is Robert C. Baker and this is Robert on Real Estate. It's the beginning of fall and here in the greater Chattanooga area we're already seeing lower temperatures and some of the leaves changing colors. This early in, the change is barely perceptible, but it's there. In the national scene, at least according to Bloomberg, there are some perceptible changes in the national real estate market. First, over the past several months, there has been a dramatic increase in delinquent mortgages. This is most likely due to the continuing economic effects of COVID-19, which has affected income and, congruently, some borrower's ability to repay. Second, in the second quarter of this year, there was a record number of new mortgage originations. As rates dip below 3%, borrowers with good to excellent credit and with favorable equity positions took advantage of the situation and, in most instances, refinanced their existing homes. What these two factors mean in the medium and long terms remains to be seen, but they could foreshadow an interesting scenario. If, on the one hand, the federal government does not extend federal mortgage forbearance relief well into 2021, we could see an increase in the number of homes put on the market. This would, to some degree, increase inventory, but ultimately suppress price. Yet, on the other hand, with some borrowers having recently refinanced at mortgage interest rates in the twos, and having either used cash at closing to pay bills or perhaps renovate their existing homes, these folks may be even less inclined to put their homes on the market, at least in the short term. So the interesting scenario is this. Barring further federal forbearance relief well into 2021, we may see a bifurcation of the real estate market both nationally and here in the greater Chattanooga area. What does that mean? For homes valued less than $250,000, we may see our seller's market begin to move into neutral territory in the short term. More homes on the market, a stabilization of home prices. Needless to say, sustained increases in homes available for sale in this price range, that is, a buyer's market, will negatively impact prices in the medium and long terms. At the same time, for homes priced $250,000 or more, and again, this is for the greater Chattanooga area, we may continue to see a seller's market, at least in the short term. Continued load inventory, continued increases in home prices. Now here are some statistics for the local real estate market here in the greater Chattanooga area. Here in the third week of September, there are about 1,350 single family homes available for sale in the greater Chattanooga area. This is down 56% from the same month in 2019 and 58% down from the year before. Compared to last year, new listings are down nearly 9% year-to-date August for the same time period last year. That said, despite COVID-19, pending sales are up nearly 9% year-to-date August from the same time period last year. And get this, the median sales price has increased 12.6% August year-to-date over last year, and the average sales price in our greater Chattanooga area is now $256,654. All of that data is great news for home sellers and homeowners. Low inventory, increasing prices, but there's also continued good news for home buyers, record low interest rates. Speaking of interest rates, according to the balance just a few days ago, the Federal Reserve continued its record low benchmark rate at nearly 0%. Also, since the Fed wants to help the economy, this rate will stay low until 2023. That's right, folks, low interest rates for at least another two to three years. So what are today's takeaways? First, we may begin to see a shift in the national and local real estate markets, a bifurcated market. Barring continuing federal intervention in home mortgage forbearance, we may see an increase in homes coming on the market below $250,000 here locally, which in the medium and long terms may affect price. On the other hand, homes priced at more than $250,000 here locally will, at least in the short term, continue to experience price inflation due to low inventory. Second, a bit of encouragement. If you're having difficulty making your monthly mortgage payments, reach out to your lender. Depending on your loan product, currently there are federal mortgage relief options including mortgage forbearance, reductions in fees and penalties, and so on. Third, if you're planning to sell your home in the next six months, and while interest rates are at record low levels, 
Please bear in mind that it takes months, perhaps even a year or longer, to recoup any investment that you make through closing costs and other fees that you might incur to refinance your current home. So make sure you have a good conversation with your mortgage lender if you're planning to sell in the next six months to find out what your options are and what makes the most sense financially. If you'd like to know the value of your home, please log on to robertcbaker.com. Or if you have a home to sell or are looking to move, please be sure to call or text me at 423-443-1649. This is Robert C. Baker, and this has been Robert on Real Estate.